Hello, cool people of the internet. Did you know that I am a cool person just like you? Yes, just like you young cool people that use the internet. I am also a cool young person. I am a, a cool internet using person. I use the internet for many things. I use it for emailing and web usage. I go to websites and I click on things uh, just just like any other normal young cool person, which is what I am. And today, to prove just what a, a cool and hip and with it person I am, I'm going to do something that a bunch of cool young people are doing, which is do a few rounds of Akinator, because apparently this is what you're supposed to do now if you are a cool internet using person. So I have a web browser here, because I'm a cool person who knows what a web browser is and what that is for. And, um... Wait, how do you get there? I could I could Google it, but if, isn't it just Akinator? I think it's just Akinator.com. Yes, looks like it is. Hello, I am Akinator. Think about re think about a real or fictional character. I will try to guess who it is. So, um, I apologize that the window's a little small. I um, I could have I could have made it a little bigger, but I'm I'm still using a laptop for all these recordings, so. Oh, here we go. Last 10 games. So you can actually see what what people are trying to get the Echinator to guess here. Brooklyn Wyatt slash Gibson. I don't know who Brooklyn, Brooklyn Wyatt slash Gibson is. is. Is the slash a part of his name? Or does that indicate that Gibson is his alter ego or something like that? I don't know. A guy who plays randomly. I wonder if the Echinator guessed that one. Miranda Sings. Don't know who that is. Y Yedir Molina, don't know who that is. Norville Shaggy Rogers, <laughs> don't know who that is. An indecisive pessimistic. Hmm. Wes Nelson, Jared Reaper Bell. Uh, actually, I don't know who a single one of these characters is, so that shows you how how cool and, and hip and young and with it I am, definitely. Uh, but yeah, let's think about a real or fictional character and uh, get Akinator to try to guess it. So the idea here is pretty simple. You've probably seen um, videos of this kind of thing before. Um, but let's see, oh, it's, I think the layout's a little weird because... Um, can I close that or something? Is there some way to close this? I don't know why I'm getting ads in German. I mean, I, I do know, I just wish I wouldn't, because that ad is covering up Akinator in a, in a very annoying way, actually. But Okay, anyway. Question one, is your character a YouTuber? Yeah, this is apparently, um, a lot of people are using this to guess their favorite YouTubers. So, you know, uh, PewDiePie obviously has probably done, probably guessed himself with Akinator several times. Uh, Markiplier, Jacksepticeye, people like that. So, is your character a YouTuber? No, he uh, he definitely is not. There was no YouTube when uh, when he was current. Has your character really existed? No. Well, in my imagination, he's real, but uh, no. Is your character a female? No. Well, we we can't really know. I mean, you don't really know for certain. But um, if we're allowed to assume people's genders, then let's let's say no. Is your character originally from a video game? Um, I take great offense to the use of the term video game to refer to it as actually a computer game. A video game to me is something you play on either, you know, like a full-size arcade machine or maybe a console. I mean, console games, I guess, are video games, but to me, something that you play on a PC is a computer game. Um, so I would say no, but probably it counts as a video game for, the, for this purpose, so let's say yes. Does your character use guns? No, he does not. Does your character wear pants? That's a good question because we, we, I don't think we ever see his lower body throughout the entire game. I'm, actually, I'm debating whether I should say whom I'm thinking about for you, the viewers, but maybe you can play along and try to guess who I'm thinking about as a go. I think it's probably more fun if you try to guess who I'm thinking about, so I, I won't say. Uh, do, but does your character wear pants? We, as I said, we don't see his lower body throughout the entire game, so I, I really don't know. Uh, well, <laughs> I do like that they have probably and probably not for options for things like this where you're not sure, but... Um, 
I mean, technically, yeah, you, I mean, you could say don't know because you don't see whether he has pants on because you don't see his legs, but um, I, I very highly doubt that he's up there without pants. I'm going to say probably. Is your character from a horror game? No, don't think so. Does your character have hair? That's hard to say because he's always wearing a helmet, but um, I will say he, pro he probably has hair. Does your character fight? Probably. I mean, we never see him fight in the game, but he probably probably has fought at some point in his life. Is your character linked with Nintendo? No, not as far as I know. I don't think there's ever an NES version of the game that I'm thinking of. Does your character have magical powers? Uh, I don't know, but probably not. I'm torn between no and probably not. I, I very, like, I, I'm pretty sure he doesn't, but I don't know factually for a fact whether he... I'll say no. I don't think... I really don't think he does. Do you control your character? No, he's not a player character. Is your character a human? Yes, as, as far as I know, probably. Does your character live in America? Well, he lives in a fictional place, which is not a... Uh, no. Does your character appear in the Elder Scrolls series? Uh, no. You're from an iPhone or Android app. Uh, I think you're going in the wrong direction there, Akinator. I think whatever whatever you're thinking, you, you're 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 thinking wrong. Uh, no, no, he is not. Is your character Japanese? No. Is your character bad? Um, that's a matter of opinion, isn't it? Uh, I, I assume they mean is is he like a villain? I mean, he's not an antagonist of the game or anything like that. So no, I, I don't think he, no. Is your character more than forty years old? I really don't know. Don't think so. I. I, I doubt it, but I, I actually, I really don't know. Don't know. Do you speak with your character? Yes, you kind of have to. Does your character fight with a sword? Um, he never fights in the game, but let's go ahead and say... Uh, I'll say probably. I mean... It's your character in the Assassin's Creed universe. You're still going in the wrong direction there, Akinator. Sorry. Um, but no. It's your character from the... <laughs> Wow. Okay, this is just getting worse and worse. So, he did ask, didn't he? Didn't the Akinator ask, is your character from a video game? And I, I'm pretty sure I said yes. Can I go? I mean, I can say correct. What happens if I say correct? Does it, do I? I don't know. Um, I'm not going to go back and look at what answers I gave. But I mean, I explicitly said he's from a video game. And now he's asking, is your character from The Office? How many The Office characters are from a video game? Seriously. I mean, the Echinator is supposed to be really smart. He's supposed to be really good at figuring stuff out, but it's just not its just not working out. No, he's not from The Office. Is your character freaky? Oh, what is that supposed to mean? I mean, I guess it's subjective. I mean, so the whole idea of the Akinator is obviously... Um, I mean, there's no real algorithm to it, or if it, I guess there is an algorithm, but the algorithm is very simple. You just s sample a huge bunch of questions. I mean, most AI works on, on this kind of principle, right? Most artificial intelligence... Uh, either works using an algorithm or using a very large amount of data and it approximates intelligence by using such a huge amount of data that it can figure things out just based on the sheer scale of information that it's processing. In this case, it's kind of a combination of both. I mean, the Akinator works on a, on a big database of characters, both real and fictional, but um, there is also an algorithm by which it tries to figure out which character you're thinking of, and that's just by using questions, obviously, to narrow it down. I mean, I'm sure there's, I don't know how the algorithm works internally, but I'm sure it's not that difficult to develop an algorithm just basically pulls through, it just kind of digs through the, the pool of questions and tries to narrow things down, tries to figure out the shortest path to figuring out what character you're thinking of. So is your character freaky? It's not something you can, you can really answer scientifically. Yeah, there's no scientific definition of what's freaky, but that's not really important. The point here is obviously, what did people answer? People answering this question answered yes or no, or don't know, or probably or probably not. And so Akinator just kind of picks the most likely character based on the answers that people have given in the past. That's how these things work. The, there used to be... It, there used to be kind of a thing that these would stop at 21, or, or 20, actually, because because these are based on 20 questions. I mean, these are supposed to be, um, as far as I know, the, these were originally based on the principle of, of, you know, that classic game, 20 questions. And so I've seen things like these in the past where they, they actually stop at 20, because otherwise, the, the point is it's supposed to guess your character or whatever you're thinking of in 20 questions or less, otherwise the, the algorithm loses. But Akinator will go beyond 20. We're already in question 24, and he's still going, so he doesn't... Uh, when does the Akinator give up, or does, does he have a cutoff point? I don't know. Anyway, is your character freaky? I will subjectively say no. 
Security associated with MMOs. A lot of people will say that this apostrophe, I, I pick on apostrophe on superfluous apostrophes a lot, but actually apparently apostrophe is allowed after an acronym if you are pluralizing an acronym. Look it up. This is apparently actually a legitimate use of an apostrophe. Many uh, grammar uh, grammar fascists like myself will say, uh, hey, that apostrophe is uh, not supposed to be there. But apparently after, um, yeah, when you're pluralizing an acronym, then it's suddenly correct. So. Uh, anyway, uh, as a character associated with MMOs, I'm going to assume, since I am a cool and young and hip person who knows all these cool acronyms that young people are using, that this stands, that this does not have anything to do with M&Ms or blood types, but uh, it means massively multiplayer online games, uh, in which case the answer is uh, fairly definitely no. Oh, and he, okay, I think he cuts off after 25 questions, because that was question 25. So, um, okay, so the Akinator, I think, I think I remember reading that the Akinator has a self-imposed question limit of 25, so this is not 20 questions, it's 25 questions, which is still not bad. I mean, if you can guess some random character in 25 questions, then uh, that's, I mean, it's not, it's not as impressive as 20 questions, but okay, 25 is okay. Um, he has guessed that I'm thinking of the Admiral from Monster Hunter colon world, which, um, I think, I think the correct, correct answer uh, could probably be provided from the subtitle here. Who knows, kid, but we do have one clue. Uh, no, this is very, very, uh, well, I, I, I don't know who this is, I have to be honest. I don't know who the Admiral, well, obviously he's this, but I, d I don't know who that is. Um, I've never played a Monster Hunter game, so no, very, very wrong on all counts, not even close. I, I am, no, I am not wrong, you are wrong, you're wrong, Akinator. Continue, yeah, sure, I'm curious if, if you'll actually guess this. I did try this, before recording, I did try out a few characters with, with Akinator, and he was just, he, he is just abominable, like, he really just has no luck. People say that the Akinator is really impressive, and people get really um, amazed by how quickly he guesses things, but it just it just doesn't work. Whenever I try it, it just, I, I must be doing something wrong. Does your character have dark hair? Um, I don't think so. I'm trying to think. In the game, he's wearing a helmet, but I think you can kind of catch a glimpse of his hair, and I don't think it's dark. I could... I could look it up on Google Image Search, but then that would give away the... I'll, I'll just say no. I mean, or should I look him up? I'll say no. I'll say no for now. Let's see where this goes. Oh, is your character in a castle? Is the Echinator finally starting to catch a clue? Um, he's not really in a castle. He's on a cat. He's kind of more like on the castle than in the castle, but I'll, I'll say yes. Is your character from Dragon Age? No. Has your character been king? I uh, don't think so, no. Is your character married? Uh, don't. That's that's an interesting question. Uh, don't know. Has your character ever had blonde hair? Probably. I think he has blonde hair. Is your character the leader of a group? Um, probably not. I don't think so. Is your character from Dark Souls? Yeah. See, this is the problem with Akinator. He knows all these new things. He he knows all these these new games that have come out in the last twenty years, but he doesn't know like uh, like older games from you know when uh, when people played real computer games. So I mean, he knows all this stuff about Dark Souls and and Light Souls and Tree Souls and Seal Souls and things like that. But he he doesn't. Uh, no, not from Dark Souls. So your character have children. Um, Again, as with the married thing, that's interesting. We don't really get the guy's backstory very much, do we? Uh, no, don't, well, don't know. Is your character from Falsettos? Uh, no. Is your character involved with a Blizzard game? No. Again, he's, he, yeah, see, this is the problem with Akinator. He gets this way too mainstream. I'm, I'm way, I'm probably way too niche for him. Is your character in Grown Ups? Is that, you mean the movie with, like, Adam Sandler and, and who else was in that? I think Rob, isn't it like Rob Schneider and Adam Sandler and, uh, is it David Spade or, no, I don't, I don't remember who was in the movie, but I, I think, do you mean that movie? Because if so, then definitely not. He, he's, he's not even from a movie. He, didn't I say he was from a video game? I'm going to have to go back and check later. I thought I said, yes, he's from a video game. So why is he guessing things from movies and TV shows and things like that? Does the character have an unusual name? Uh, no, I don't think so. Um. 
you know what? I'm not even sure what his name is. I'm gonna have to. Okay, well, let's let's keep going. Um, I'll I'll look I'll look at look it up later if it, after Akinator guesses again. Does he have any unusual name? I don't think so. Does he have a bald head? Uh, don't I don't think so. I'll say don't know. I really don't know. Does the character wear a yellow shirt? Uh, that's oddly specific. I mean, I think Akinator has somebody in mind. I think when he's asking questions like this, he kind of has somebody in mind to whom he thinks is the person I'm thinking of. But I mean, this is, this is just, this is way too specific, man. I mean, you're still way off. Does he wear a yellow shirt? I really don't remember exactly what he's wearing. I don't think so. No, I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure. Does he use a bow? Uh, no, I don't. Actually, it would make sense that he uses a bow, but... Also, I don't know, because it would it would really make sense that for him to have a bow, but I don't think he does. I don't remember him having a bow. Does he have a last name? Again, don't know. Does he wear a helmet? I, I'm pretty sure he does wear a helmet. I should really I should really have looked these up before playing, because I actually don't remember the specifics of the guy's appearance now, but I'm pretty sure he had a helmet on. Is your character from a wall? Again, what's this with, with movies? He's from a game. I've explicitly told you that, man. Why are you guessing... Something's really wrong with Akinator. Are there many of your character? That's an interesting question. I was actually wondering earlier. I was wondering, um, does Akinator know um, group characters like, um, uh, you know, like like the minions from Despicable Me? I mean, they're they're not just one character. They're a whole group. Uh, so it's it's not you're not guessing a character. You're guessing like a whole group. And I was wondering, would, Ak would Akinator know stuff like that? He probably does. I mean, I mean, yeah, I think he can guess group characters like that as well. Um, maybe, maybe I should try that. I should, I should think of a good group character to um, to guess. But uh, in this case, no. Has your character been into space? No, my character is Poland. Uh, does your <laughs> does your character flash his abs? Really, Akinator? Uh, does your character come from the internet? No, sadly not. Is your character from a video game? Didn't I say that? No, seriously now, why why are you asking the exact same question twice? Did you not get it the first time? You asked me this exact same question. Are you, like, did you not believe me? You thought maybe I was too stupid to answer the question properly, and so you're checking again to make sure that I didn't give the wrong answer? Yes, he's from a video game. Does he have a blue shirt? I could look up his appearance, but I don't... Yeah, I mean, if, if I do that now, it's going to, like, show up on the video, and I, I don't want to spoil it for you folks. So I think, this is question 50, so we'll probably guess after that. I'll, I'll say I don't know. I'm not sure. I, th I think he might be wearing one, but I'm not sure. Or at least, like, a blue undershirt. Oh, okay, at least now he, he got some he got a character from a game. So this is kind of going in the right direction. Uh, I mean, this is at least a character from a, a medieval character from a game. So... Yeah, Lord British from Ultima. Well, it says UO, so I guess Ultima Online, but... Okay, you're at least in the right. Um, at least in the right time period. At least in the right genre now. So, in that sense, good job. It took you fifty questions to figure out that it's a video game character, and so that's not very impressive. I don't know why people always freak out about the Akinator and say, "Wow, the Akinator is so great." Uh, so, no, it's it's not Lord British. I am wrong. Continue, yeah, sure. Is your character killed? No, he does not get killed. Is your character a leader? Um, I'll say no. I don't think he's. Is your character Australian? Oh, I don't know about that. I, that's actually more more like a southern accent. Uh, well, Australians are southern, but I mean a different kind of southern. Uh, I, no. Does your character have something to sell? Uh, no. From the Zelda series? Okay, at least now we're getting into video games. This is at least better than asking, is he from The Office? Or something ridiculous like that. Uh, no, he's not from Zelda. Is your character linked with a law? I mean, my first inclination is no. I mean, in a very broad sense, you could say he's kind of like a, an enforcer. He's kind of like a knight. I mean, and he's not exactly a knight, but I mean, like uh, he's kind of like a law enforcement kind of character, you could say. So I guess maybe you could very broadly say... I'll say no. I mean, I think they mean law in the sense of, like... Um, what's the name of that? Um, what's what's the name of that game? That game that I know because I am... Uh, because I am a cool young person who knows about video games. Um, I don't know... I forget the name because it's a console game, and I don't play console games. Ace Attorney, uh, but what it's that Ace Attorney game that everybody knows, but what's the... 
And he always says objection and points his finger, and then there's this huge anime flash, and that anime sound effect plays, and his eyes go wide, and he's like, objection! Uh, I mean, you know, you guys know the game I'm talking about. I, I can't believe I forgot the name now. Um, Phoenix Wright. Good grief. Phoenix Wright, Ace Attorney. I, I can't believe I forgot that. Uh, so I think with this question, they mean, am I thinking of Phoenix Wright, or at least a character from the Phoenix Wright games? Uh, no, I am not. Has your character been divorced? Don't know. I, I don't think so, probably. Is your character white-haired? Pretty sure he's not. Is your character a pilot? No. Does your character live with their brother? I don't know, man. I don't know, I don't know his private living situation. Does your character live in Alaska? No. Does your character use a shield? I think he has a shield. I'm not 100% sure, actually, but I think he has a shield. Is your character black-haired? Does he have black hair? I don't think so. I thought he was blonde. I remember him. I'm actually kind of firing in the dark now. You know what? Let me just forget it. I'll just, I'll just go. This is getting ridiculous. I, I don't really want to um, be giving Akinator wrong information because I actually forget exactly what the guy looks like. Um, and I actually forgot the guy's name now. I, I'm actually so daft that I've forgotten the guy's name. I think his name is Carl from, you know, from Heroes Quest. Let's see. Carl from Heroes Quest. Okay. Uh, I have no idea what this is. This. Oh. Oh. This is. Um. This is actually a map. This is a map of the of of the original Heroes Quest. But I, I'm not looking for a map. I just want to see Carl because that's the guy I'm thinking of. I think his name is Carl. Um. And you know what? I I should probably search for Quest for Glory. Because people people don't know stuff. They don't know that it was originally Heroes Quest. They just know it as Quest for Glory. So yeah, Carl the Gatekeeper. That's right. Carl is the Gatekeeper, and this is the screen that he shows up in uh, in the VGA version. But I'm of course thinking of Carl from the original Heroes Quest, aka Quest for Glory. So do we not have do we not have a picture of him anywhere? What is all this nonsense that's coming up? I'm just looking for a picture of Carl. From Quest for Glory. And I really just don't see him anywhere. I have no idea. Carl Marx. That's nice. Carl Marx on the cover of Time magazine shows up, but not Carl from Oh, you know what I should do? Let's let's put Quest for Glory in quotation marks because otherwise Google is just gonna search for anything that can Okay, this is getting more specific now. This is a little more in line with what this is this is kind of in line with what I'm looking for, but it doesn't actually show the character that I'm looking for. And these are all from the VGA version, or mostly from the VGA version of the game. Am I really that unique in that I actually played the, the original EGA version? Is is there like no one in, in the world who remembers the EGA version that I made a that I made a let's play of? Um there are no pictures of him here. Here's the uh, the the weapon master inside the castle. I probably should have. I probably should have. Uh... Wow. I cannot find one single picture. I'm finding like pictures of everything else from Quest for Glory, but I just can't. What is this? Is that? Oh, that's the Black Cauldron, isn't it? Or is it? Wait, no, that's not. Oh, that, that's not even a CR game. That's just some. Oh, here's Katrina with her crazy hairdo. I'm getting stuff from like completely different games, but I just, I don't, I don't get it, man. I, I really just, uh, okay, I have no idea. Is your character black haired? Uh, I'll say don't know, just because I don't want to give wrong information to Akinator. Is your character from Skyrim? Definitely not. Is your character linked with cars? I, I really don't get the feeling that you're you're playing along here, Akinator, honestly. Did your character die? No, he never dies in the game. Does your character fight against monsters? I mean, theoretically, I guess he would if any monsters came to the castle, but they never do, so... <laughs> Is your character a Mormon? Good good question, Carl. Are you... Um, I mean, I don't think Mormons exist in Quest for Glory. I don't think that's a religion that really transferred over into that game world because it's not really a... Uh, no. Is your character from For Honor? No. Does your character play in Harry Potter? Again, I, I would say what's with the what's with the movies? But actually, there there were Harry Potter video games, weren't there? 
Probably so, maybe. Okay. Does your character wear shoes? I, I, probably. Does your character wear a robe? No, I don't think so. Is your character from backstage? Backstage what? <laughs> oh, my goodness. Akinator. Akinator, please. Police. Gooby Pulse. Um, no. Although maybe we should wish that he did. Is your character a unicorn? Wow. Is your character from under, uh, under print? I don't know what that is, but no. Has your character killed humans? Um, I don't know. Is your character American? Don't think so. Is your created by Capcom? No. Kale, the cartographer from Dark Souls 2. What happened to Akinator? I remember years ago, like years and years ago, I tried something like this where um, it was the same principle, but I think Akinator didn't exist then, but it was, it was the same basic idea. And it was uncannily accurate. What's happened since then? Like, why is this so wildly off? Why is he asking all these cheese questions when... I've very clearly said that the character's from a video game, and it's very obvious. I mean, he could probably eliminate, like, half of his questions if he started off by asking, is your character from before the year 2000? That would probably spare him about half of these questions that he's asked me so far. No, you're, I'm not thinking of Kale the Cartographer from Dark Souls 2 or any character from any Dark Souls game. Did you run out of steam, or...? Oh, okay. Who are you thinking about? Yeah, again, the, the layout gets a bit weird because I'm playing in such a small window, so sorry. Can you even say you're playing? I mean, is this really a game? It's not really a game, it's more like a... Anyway, whatever. So the guy's name is Carl, right? Pretty sure his name was Carl. Let me just quickly... Yeah. Talk to Carl the Gatekeeper. Carl. Carl Tilleman, basketball athlete. Carl Macklenburg, linebacker, Denver Broncos. Carl Smallwood, YouTuber. Uh, Stephen Carl Stephenson, actor. Carl. Um, definitely not any of these. My character is not in the list. Okay, name. Carl. Description. Gatekeeper from Heroes Quest, A.K. A quest for glory one. Send. Really? Indication length must be between two and fifty characters. Well, sheesh, come on, Akinator, don't be jealous just because my indication is longer than yours. I mean, it's not my fault. Okay, I'll say... Then just... Gatekeeper from Heroes Quest, because Bravo, you have defeated me. It, it wasn't that hard, honestly. I mean, I just thought of like, I mean, how, how do you not know Carl the Gatekeeper? He's like one of the most obvious characters in the game, because he's one of the first people you meet. Like, you go right up to the castle, and he's right there on the castle ramparts, just just m marching back and forth constantly. I mean. Yeah, you meet the sheriff and Otto first, and then if you explore the town, then you meet, you meet some of the townspeople first. But you can't really go... You, you, I, I really doubt that many people got very far in the game without meeting Carl. He's like one of the most obvious people to guess, so I have no idea how Akinator doesn't guess him. All right, let's try again. Let's think of... Can I close that, please? Can I, why can I not close these ads? It's quite annoying. I should have I should have used a browser with a, with a built-in ad blocker or something like that. This is quite, quite... And what is this Fortnite thing, anyway? I mean, I, I know what it is. It's a, it's a, it's a game. I believe it's a first per like it's it's an MMO uh, first person shooter. I think, but I haven't actually played it myself. Okay, I do like that Akinator has some randomization. Like you notice, he uh, he's I don't think he started with this question last time. There is some kind of randomization at work here, which is probably supposed to be helpful. But um, yeah, I don't know. So he doesn't know who Carl was. So hold on, let me think of um, let me think of a, a more obvious character. Let's think of someone like um, da, ba, da, ba, da, ba, da, um, 
Mel Schlemming. He's got to know Mel Schlemming. Mel Schlemming's like the only human character in the entire Incredible Machine game, so you've, you've got to know who Mel Schlemming is. All right, Mel Schlemming it is. Does your character use guns? No, he probably should, but he doesn't. Is your character an adult man? Oh, that's a great question. I actually, I really don't know if Mel's supposed to be an adult or a kid. I mean, he's obviously a male, because Mel is a male's name, and he makes kind of relatively masculine sounds, but is he... He could be a kid. He could be a boy. I really don't know if he's meant to be a boy or a man. Don't know. It's a good question. Do you control your character? No, not directly, because he's uh, a lemming, or he's he's like a lemming from the game Lemmings. So, uh, Does your character have hair? Uh, yes. Yes, he does. Is your character from video game? Yes. Okay, now you're asking the right question, Zachinator. Is your character bad? Um, he's terrible at staying alive, but... Um, he, I mean, he's not—he's not a villain. He's just—he's just very bad at doing anything properly. But I—I I, I assume this question means is he like, uh, you know, is—is is he a bad guy? So no. So you have human skin as a what as opposed to like the the exoskeletons or whatever that Terminators Terminator robots have. Uh, yes, he—I mean, as far as I know, he's a human being. You get to report of the cube. What is that? Do you mean the Borg cube or do you mean that? weird horror movie cube. Either way, no. Does the character have dark hair? I'm pretty sure he does. Let's look him up. Hold on. I Again, in terms of appearance, you know, I'm not I'm not one of those um sensing people. Yeah, there we go. There's what does Willie Beamish show up here? Actually Willie Beamish does look kinda of like Mel Schlemming, doesn't he? Your appearance is similar. Another Sierra game, but no, this this is Mel Schlemming here. Yeah, he's got like brown, brown. Yeah, I mean, I would say that's dark hair. Does he got dark dark hair? Yeah. Oh, I can interest to think about that. Is your character a genie? Uh, no. Is he here to go to school? No, he just goes home all the time. He just walks into his like one room house and lights the fire. Uh, no, he does not. Is your character ever played in? Has your character ever played an all-star game? What does that mean? Do you mean an all-star game? In which case the answer is no. Or do you mean the game called All-Star? In which case the answer is still no. So, no. Is your character from Minecraft? No. Probably should be. Is your character linked with Nintendo? No. Does your character have teeth? Actually, yes, he does. Look at that that bright, beautiful smile. Or maybe that's a mustache. <laughs> no, I, I, that's, that's, I, I'm pretty sure that's that's a big, bright smile, because Mel Schlemming is smiling very cheerfully as he's about to die, as he always does. So yes, he clearly has teeth. Is your, again, from an iPhone and Android app, no. Does your, did your character sacrifice themselves? Not intentionally. So, no. Is your from, what? Phantom of the Opera? Again, I said he's from a video game. Unless, is there a video game? There, there is. Ret there was Return of the Phantom, um, that Microprose adventure game about about the Phantom of the Opera. There was an adventure game for Microprose in the mid nineteen nineties based on Phantom of the Opera. Um, so yeah, there there was that. So I guess yeah, that's a video game based on Phantom of the Opera. But I don't think yeah, Canada's thinking of the video game here. He's probably thinking of the original Phantom of the Opera. So no. Anyway, even if even if it was the video game, Mel Schlemming's obviously not from that game. So, does your character have hooves? Uh, well, it's I guess it's hard to tell at this pixel resolution, but I'm pretty sure he does not. Is your character in Girl Meets World? No, he probably probably should be. Again, is your character able to transform? He's able to transform into a dead person, but I don't think that counts. Does your character fight? No, although again, he probably should. Is your character a woman? No, although again, he probably should be. Is your character a, a religious figure? That's a good question. Is there a church? It wouldn't surprise me if there's a church of Mel Schlemming. That, that really wouldn't surprise me. In fact, maybe, maybe somebody should start a church of Mel... No, he's not a religious figure. Does your character regenerate? Um, not re I'm, well, I mean, once you stop the machine, then yeah, everything resets, but he doesn't like come back to I, I'm pretty sure the answer is no I don't I don't I think they mean regenerate in the sense of like when he gets killed does he respawn or something like that like in a in a shooter which or uh, or maybe they mean regenerate as in like does he regain health like if he loses health points does he regenerate health anyway I'm pretty sure the answer is no Sebastian from Stardew Valley 
I'd like to know how he got to this. Now, I do love Stardew Valley. That is a, a fantastic game. Um, and I'm happy that he knows the characters from Stardew Valley. But I'd like to know how he hit on... on uh, hit, well, not, not hit on Sebastian in the sense of tried to come on to Sebastian, but, but hit on Sebastian in the sense of, like, came across came upon the idea that Sebastian is, is the character I'm thinking of. Uh, in any case, no, I'm not thinking of Sebastian, obviously, but I'm... I'm I'm glad to see this, at least. I'm glad to see that Akinator knows Stardew Valley stuff, because that's that's really good. I, I really I really do love Stardew Valley, but no, I am wrong. Continue. Sure, let's see what, what else you have. Does your character have a brother or sister? I don't know. Um, I'll say no, because... I mean, you could theorize maybe Mel has a brother or sister, but let's just say no. I mean, I, I'm pretty sure he doesn't. Oh, Akinator has to think about that one. Do you speak with your character? Uh, I do, yes. I think, I think the point. I'm gonna. I'm, I'm pretty sure the answer they're looking for here is no. Even though I do usually speak with Mel. Well, I don't really speak with him. I just yell at him. I'm like, no, don't go that way, you idiot. No, turn around. Is your character from The Sims? Uh, no, but again, he probably should be. Is the character a YouTuber? No, but again, he probably should be. I, I, I would definitely watch a YouTube channel of Mel Schlemming. Wouldn't you? If Mel Schlemming, if Mel Schlemming had a YouTube channel, that would be like the best thing ever. He would just constantly be falling off cliffs and getting eaten by alligators. That would be like the most exciting YouTube channel in, uh, in all of human history. He should he should definitely start a YouTube channel, but no, he doesn't have one. Has your character ever been in a movie? Not that I know of. I mean, theoretically, maybe somebody made a movie out of that, but um, don't think so. Does your character have a last name? As a matter of fact, he does. Schlemming is his last name. Is your character Japanese? I don't know if he is, but I'm pretty sure he's not meant to be. Schlemming does not sound like a Japanese last name. Is your character from space? Probably, but no. Is your character real? He's real to me, but no. Did your character die? Yes, constantly. Does your character wear a lab coat? Uh, Professor Tim does from the same game, but, uh, or not. Well, in this version of The Incredible Machine, there wasn't Professor Tim. He didn't show up until Tim 2. Um, but no, Mel obviously does not. Does your character wear a lab coat? No, he does not. Does your character act in the Maze Runner? What is that? No. You're playing the. I can't. What is with the movies, Akinator? What is it with you and movies? I've expl I've already said this time around. I've said for this round is a character from a game. Why are you asking about the movies? Is a character older than seventeen? Uh, again, I don't know. Is he a man or a boy? Again, you're you're really. You're you're asking questions that you should already kind of implicitly understand. Like these are just total waste of questions. I don't know if he's a man or a boy. I don't know how old he is. So why are you asking? I mean, you, you wouldn't know if I know how old he is unless you ask. But I've already said before, you already asked before, is he, a, is he an adult? And I said, I don't know. I don't know if he's an adult. Is your character dead? <laughs> um, that's a difficult question to answer because he, he dies constantly. So is he really dead if he just keeps dying and then just, just showing up again? I'll say yes in the sense that he's died, but is he linked with the horror genre? No, not, not really. Is your character live underground? No, he lives in that nice house above ground. Is your character from Detroit? No, and this is a case where I can say he probably shouldn't be. Does your character live in America? Well, I don't know. I mean, probably. I mean, that house they live in is probably meant to evoke typical sort of American suburbia, so... Probably. Does your character write love songs? Does Mel Schlemming have emotions? I really don't know. Um, no. Does your, character often, does your character often appears without a shirt? What's happened to you, Akinator? I mean, I thought that you were supposed to... I thought that this algorithm was supposed to be so refined, but he doesn't even ask questions with proper grammar. Wow, I, I really, I'm actually kind of regretting that I did this now because it's actually going on for a lot longer than I expected, and... I really thought that I would get better results than this. I mean, I didn't necessarily expect that Akinator would guess all my characters, but he's just asking questions that are so obviously wrong, so very obviously bad, and which would so very obviously be already ruled out by previous answers that I've given. Does he often appears without a shirt? No. Is he from Rick and Morty? Uh, no. Probably should be. Is he looking with Undertale? No. Um, is he more than 40 years old? Well, again, I don't know how old he is, but I really doubt it. Then again, he could be the 40-year-old virgin. Um, I'll say probably not. 
Scared of British origins? Schlemming doesn't sound like a British name. Actually, maybe it could. Oh, yes, Mr. Schlemming, yeah. Um, don't know, don't think so. Park Guest from Roller Coaster Tycoon. Well, this is actually kind of going in the right direction in the sense that it's a relatively generic... I mean, Mel Schlemming is just a generic human being who exists basically to be killed. So, in that sense, I guess the park guest from... or a park guest, the park guests from, from Roller Coaster Tycoon are kind of going in the same direction. I can kind of see where you're going with that, Akinator. But no, that, that is not what I'm thinking of. Yes, let's continue and see where we go from here. Are there many of your character? Oh, that's an interesting question. Um, I mean, for the part guests, that would have been an obvious yes, but for Mel, it's kind of ambiguous, isn't it? Because he, I mean, he's supposed to be, I mean, he has a name, so you can kind of say he's one guy with, an, with his own identity, but you could have several of him in one level. I mean, you can make a level, and, and there are levels of the game where there are several Mel Schlemmings, so... I wonder if, I mean, it's just, I mean, as I said, Akinator just bases his guesses based on what other people said. So it's kind of, I'm trying to think, what would other people say? If you ask the average person, are there many of Mel Schlemming, yes or no? Let's say yes. I mean, yeah, I mean, you can, you can have several of him. There, are, there, can, there can be several of him at once in a level. So even though he's a guy with a name... Technically, yeah, there are several of him, or can be several of him. Does your character show their face a lot? Um, I'm wondering what that means. I mean, he always shows his face. In the, I mean, he never covers his face. He's not wearing a mask or something, so is that what you mean? Yeah, sure, I guess. Does your character wear a hat? No, he clearly does not. What is this? What, what is this? Is this like anime? Oh. It's like anime Incredible Machine. It's, it's an anime version of Mel Schlemming. Okay, anyway. Um, does he wear a hat? No. Is your character from It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia? Uh, again, that that as far as I know, that's a TV show. I don't think it's been turned into a video game. So given that I explicitly said the character is from a video game, why are you asking this, Akinator? The character is a zombie. Wow, that's a good question. That's a, that is a great question, actually. Is Mel Schlemming a zombie? I could see a real case for saying yes. Um, I think there's a very strong case for, for that, but uh, I'm pretty sure he's not supposed to be, so I'll say no. Is Gitter a pilot? No. Does Gitter use two guns at the same time? No, he doesn't even use one gun at the same time. In fact, no, he's not from First Person Shooter. He's from a horror game. No. Is your character a girl? Well... The game does use male pronouns for him, so I'm pretty. He, he's pretty unambiguously male, so he's not like a little girl. No. Has a character ever died? What's with the movies? I just, I don't get it, man. Still asking about movies at this point. Is your character linked with cereal? Where are you getting these questions from? Dude, is your character older than 20? You keep asking about the age. You keep asking about the age. I don't know. First you asked if he's older than 17. So, look. You asked a few questions ago, is he older than 17? I said, don't know. Now you ask, is he older than 20? How am I supposed to know? I don't know his age. Isn't it obvious that I don't know how old he is? Was your character bitten? Um, he keeps getting eaten by those alligators. Ernie alligators, so I guess that counts as being bitten, yeah. Does your character live with you? This is a question that could go all kinds of wrong. There, there are many, many, many ways that this question could go very wrong. Imagine Mel Schlemming living with you. Imagine all the police reports you'd have to file. No, he doesn't live with me. I, I assume they mean, does he live with you in the game? Like, does he live with your player character in the game? But the answer is still no. Is your character an... Uh, 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 I, I take back everything that I've said. This is the most genius question I have ever seen in my life. Is Mel Schlemming an adult 
or adult baby. That's brilliant. I think you just figured it out, Akinator. I think you just figured out the, the, the true nature of the universe. I, I really don't know. I mean, I mean, how literal do you want me to be? I mean, I mean, literally, obviously, this is a contradiction in terms, adult baby or adult. I, I think, which one is it? I think, is it adult or adult? One of those is Canadian, one's American, and I forget which is which. Anyway, I'll just say, is your character a, a grown-up baby, I'll say? Um... Obviously, literally, that is a contradiction in terms, but I'm going, okay, I'm going to assume this is from some movie. There's probably some movie where, is it like Jack, you know, that, that movie with Robin Williams, where Robin, where Robin Williams plays some kid who suddenly grows up to be like an adult in like a short amount of time. I think it was called Jack, wasn't it? Or something like that. Um, it's pro You're probably thinking of something like that, in which case, no. I'll, I'll say no, even though, as I said, that question is genius. Was your character popular in the 1980s? When did the first uh, Incredible Machine game come out? I think it was already the 90s. Just to be sure... I'm pretty sure the answer is no, but just to be sure, let's go ahead and go to Wikipedia and look up. If I just put in Tim, okay, this is definitely not what I'm looking for. Can I even, oh, it's not even, it's not even listed here. Oh, wait, oh, it is. Oh, it is actually listed here. That's great. The Incredible Machine game. Okay, cool. That's nice. Is it released in 1993? Yeah, that's, I figured it was too... Um... Oh, wow. It was originally going to be developed for the Commodore 64 in 1984. Wow, I didn't know that. I did not start work on the Incredible Machine until the spring of 1993. Wow, an idea that was nine years in the making. Wow, that's cool. That's, that's great trivia. That's actually really good to know. I did not know that. I should have read this Wikipedia article before. Okay, that's good to know. Uh, but in any case, in, in reality, in our reality, was your character popular in the 1980s? No. Is your character in The Walking Dead? No. Is your character from Movie Star Planet? Don't know what that is, but no. Does your character have a dog? Um, he might, but I'll say no. Look, Akinator, this is this is just getting stupid. Now you've asked you've asked me this exact same question before. Why do you keep asking this same question twice? Like, oh, is he from video game? Are you sure? Maybe you're thinking of a movie that you thought was a video game. Is he from the Fallout series? At least that's a game. But no, he's not. Is your character connected to the moon? Uh, I could probably make a joke about that, but um, I mean, no, not really. Does your character something to do with wheels? Ooh, are you thinking of Happy Wheels? I get the feeling Akinator might be thinking of a Happy Wheels character here, which is a good direction to go in because Mel is kind of, he is kind of in the same league with that um, dad, like that dad and his kid who keeps getting killed on the bicycle from Happy Wheels. It, it, it does kind of go in the same direction, doesn't it? I mean, they're very different games. I mean, The Incredible Machine is a puzzle game and Happy Wheels is more like a, I mean, it's a, like a action kind of, um, but does he have something to do with wheels? Mm, not really, no. Block B, what is that? I mean, cell block B in a prison? I don't think Mel Schilling's ever been to prison, no. Hidden Sound Village, no. Terraria, that's a great game, actually, but no. You know, Nickelodeon, no, but I wish he would. I, I wish there was a Nickelodeon show about Mel Schilling. I would totally watch that. Does he resemble a moose? Well, what do you think? Does he look like a moose? Wow, it's really pixelated, but even at this pixelation, I can pretty pretty well see that he does not resemble a moose, at least no moose that I've ever seen. It's like no moose I've tasted. Cole McGrath from Electricity. Uh, submitted by Cole McGrath. Cole McGrath submitted himself? Or is that a joke? It's probably. So, I read. I have to be honest. I don't know who this is. It looks like a game. I mean, he's obviously not a, uh, not a live actor. I mean, it's it's computer generated character. So this is probably from some game that I don't know. But anyway, no. 
Okay, who are you thinking about? I am thinking about Melsh. Hold on, let me just let me just make sure I got the spelling right because I don't want to make a typo here. Does this name show up in the article here? Uh, if I just search for Schlemming, no, the word Schlemming does not appear here. I'm pretty sure that. Oh, I can just you know let me just copy and paste it from here. Mel Schlemming. My browser thinks that it's uh, a uh, that it's misspelled. That shows what you know, browser. Does he show up here? Mel, unused carrot from Portal Two. This says a lot about uh, about what Akinator knows that he knows an unused character from a game. This is an unused character who doesn't even appear in the game. He knows who this unused character is who never shows up in the game, but he doesn't know the only human being from Incredible uh, from the Incredible Machine. Mel Dat again, YouTuber family. Um, wow. YouTuber, family blogger, has two sons, has an... Wow, that's like... I didn't really need this person's whole life story here. But... Mel B. Uh, Mel B. America got Tlalen. Am I thinking of Mel B from America Got Talent? Gee, I don't know. I'll have to think about that one for a while. Um, Mel the Minion. Oh, speaking of minions. Um, yeah, from the Emoji Movie, Secret Life of Pets. No, it's it's not any of these. My character is not in the list. Okay, who am I? Th name, Mel Schlemming. Description, um, only human character from the incredible machine is that too long for you no he took it all right gosh this has gone on longer than i thought i thought this was going to be a short video but i've only done two characters and i actually wanted to do a couple more um uh let's see okay i'm probably not gonna be able to do every character that i wanted to do then let's see um Okay, let's do one more. Let's, um... Akinator doesn't know... Apparently he doesn't know these Sierra characters very well. Um, those of you who know me, I mean, I think it's pretty apparent by now, I'm more of a fan of Sierra games than LucasArts games. And I think I've talked about that in the past. The reason for that is very simply because LucasArts games are too heavy on cinematics. And I don't really... I don't like games that feel like movies or TV shows. I, I like games that feel more like, you know, like interactive experiences. And LucasArts games are always too much for me, like a Saturday morning cartoon or like a, you know, like, like a George Lucas movie or something like that. Um, which, you know, I mean, I have nothing against movies, but if I want to watch a movie, I'll want to, I'll, I'll watch a movie. When I want to play a game, I'll play a game. So for that reason, I, I'm not really a huge fan of most LucasArts games, but let's I can imagine since Akinator seems to focus more on movies and TV shows and things like that, maybe he knows characters from LucasArts games. Does he know characters from classic LucasArts adventures? Let's try one. Let's let's come up with a character from a classic LucasArts adventure. Get that out of here. What does Fortnite keep coming up? Um, anyway, so... Oh, is your character a female? And as a matter of fact, yes, yes, she is. I am thinking of a female character. So let's uh, let's go with that. Let's see where that takes us. Does your character have dark hair? Hey, off to a good start here. Yes, she does. Do you control your character? Yes, I do. Well, you can. Oh, and then it goes off the rails. Is your character from Fortnite? Uh, no, no, she's not. Is your character associated with the DMV? Department of Motor Vehicles? No. Does your character use guns? No. Does your character fight? No. Is your character a makeup artist? Uh, no. Is your character from Raven's Home? No. Is your character from a video game? Yes. You're probably going to ask me the same question again later. Is your character an artificial intelligence? Actually, I actually like this question. I'm curious what he would think if I say yes, because I've already said that she's female and has dark hair. 
How many dark-haired female artificial intelligences are there? I mean, there's Shodan, but Shodan doesn't have any hair. What other, what other, how many female AIs can you think of? I can only think of Shodan. There must be others, but again, how many of them have dark hair? Oh, Cortana. But Cortana doesn't, doesn't she doesn't really have dark, well, she, she has blue hair. I mean, everything everything is blue about her. Does, she, does that count as dark? I don't know. Anyway, my character is not an, not an artificial intelligence, no. Does your character go to school? Um, pretty sure, I think so. I'll say probably. Actually, I'm not sure. I'll say probably. Is your character from a horror game? Um, not really. I mean, it's kind of a parody of horror. In a sense, it's kind of a parody of horror games, but I'll say no, it's not really. Is your character linked with spiders? Um, no. Does your character have a last name? I don't think she does. Uh, I don't think so. You're looking with Undertale? No. Nintendo? No. Does your character wear a hat all the time? No, she doesn't wear a hat at all, I don't think. Does your character hate being called short? Um, I mean, I don't know. I don't think she's ever... Get... Is your character an adult? I'm trying not to reveal what character I'm thinking of so you folks can play along. I really don't know. Are they? I think... Probably not. I don't know. I think they're teenagers in the game. Do you care to play in the infield? I don't think she's a baseball player at all. Do you care to have a phone? Um, no. Do you care to have a fraternal twin? Don't think so. Uh, really? I mean, it's never explicitly stated in the game, but I'm going to, I mean, as far as I know, she's a normal human being who has normal biological functions, so probably yes. Did you create your character? Um, um, this is a funny question because I'm I'm trying to think of how this should be interpreted. I mean, my first thought was that this is referring to character creation routines in games where, you know, you can define what, you know, you can define your character's hairstyle, hair color, and, you know, things like that. You can kind of customize the appearance of your character. I first thought it was something like that. But now I'm wondering if Akinator is asking me, is this a character that I've just completely made up who is not from any... Uh, game or movie or anything, but it's literally just a character that I just thought of in my head, in which case very clearly um, Akinator's not going to be able to guess it because he, he can't read minds. I mean, it's, he's based on... I mean, Akinator's based on a database. He, the whole the, the whole point here is that Akinator's supposed to have a huge database of different characters from different works of media. And then the, the hard part is just, um, again, just, you know, compiling a bunch of questions that leads, leads Akinator to the correct character in the least number of questions. Um... But he's not going, he's not a mind reader. He's not going to be able to know anything which is not in his database. The reason why he doesn't know Mel Schlemming and Carl the Gatekeepers because obviously they just were never put into his database. So that's clear. I mean, it's it's not a matter of, it's not that Akinator's not too smart, although, well, he's also, he's not asking very smart questions that I've indicated. But again, it doesn't matter how smart he is. He's not going to know something that he doesn't know. Any artificial intelligence is only as smart as, as the data that you feed it with. And if you, f if you don't feed it with data that it needs, it's, it's not going to know. So if I'm thinking of some character that I just dreamed up in my imagination, then obviously the Akinator is not going to know it. So I'm wondering if, he's, if he means that, or again, does he just mean character creation in a game? I really don't know, but either way, the answer is no. Lucy from Subway Surfers. Well... <sighs> I don't know who that is. This looks like a console game, and I don't know console games. But I have to give... I'm pretty sure this is from a game, at least, so I guess I should give Akinator credit for at least coming up with the correct gender and the correct uh, type of media. At least he didn't guess, like, a, a male movie character or something, which I guess is apparently pretty good for the Akinator. Uh, but no, I don't know what Subway Surfers is. Again, it looks like a... Like a this looks like a PlayStation 1 game. Anyway, no, it's not Lucy from... Is your... Here we go again with the iPhone Android app. No, she's not. Is your character a child? No, I mean, I think, like I, said, I think she's a teenager. Does your character speak? Yes. 
human being, yes. And magical powers, no. Has your character ever won a dunk contest? Uh, not that I know of. Again, with the Blizzard games, no. Is your character in a sequel? Was she in the sequel? There was a sequel to the game, but with, I don't think she was in the sequel, no. Does she have black hair? Yes, uh, yes she does, I believe. Does she fight against monsters? Not, not physically. I mean, she doesn't like get into armed combat with like it's not an action game. Does your character have any rings? Um, not that I. I mean, those rings would be like one pixel size, um, but I don't. I don't think so. Is your character Japanese? Don't think so. Has your character dyed their hair? Um, the other female character in this game did, but the one that I'm thinking of has not. This character from Forever in Your Mind. I don't know what Forever in Your Mind is. If you'd asked me about A Mind Forever Voyaging, then I would give you credit for uh, for knowing an awesome adventure game. But I don't know what Forever in Your Mind is. So, uh, no. Is your character her brother or sister? Um, probably, but not, not that I know of, not in game. Is your character an adult female? Um, I'll say probably not, because again, I don't think she's quite an adult. Does your character make famous pies? Don't know where you're going with that, but... Does your character like playing Roblox? Is your character inter interested in fashion? Uh, not, uh, not, not really. Is your character someone's servant? Is your character in Battle Royale game? Is your character wear a uniform? No. Is your character in Robin Hood? No. Does your character build robots? No. Does your character wear, build... Uh, Build. Does your character wear glasses? Uh, no, which is actually kind of surprising considering her character type. She is of a character type that would wear glasses, but I don't think she does. Pretty sure she... I'm, I'm, I feel quite certain that she does not. Playtime from Baldi's Basics. Little girl who loves jump rope and wears a red dress. Uh, no words. I, I really have no words for this. It's just getting ridiculous. Does your character live in America? That's a good question because it's a fictional locale, but I'm pretty sure it's meant to be an American locale, so I'll, I'll say yes. Is your character a high school student? See, this is a good question. I'm pretty sure that... I mean, she's either high school or college, but I'm pretty sure... Again, I really I don't remember what ages they were, but I think they're I think I think she must I think so, yes. Is your character play baseball? I mean she might, but not in the game. Is your from, I, see, I knew it. I knew he was gonna ask a second time. It's like every time he's not sure, ooh, are you really thinking about a video game? Maybe maybe it's a movie. You didn't maybe you didn't realize it was a movie and not a game. No, it, yes, it's from a video game. I, again asking about horror. No, it's not a horror game, not really. Does your character love aliens? Um don't know. Does your character play golf? Probably not. Not in the game. Do you speak with your character? Um, no. Is your character from The Sims? No. Is your character from YouTube? No. Is your character wearable? Wow. Akinator knows characters that are like pieces of clothing. I guess. I guess that's not too wild. I mean, I can't. I can't really think of one. I can't think of a well-known character or any character who is a piece of clothing, but I guess you could imagine. Well, I do remember on Sesame Street, some of you may remember a Sesame Street skit where a shirt starts talking. Yeah, I remember there was a Sesame Street skit where a shirt is talking and he says, uh, I'm very grateful for the, the sound made by SH because without SH, I would be just ERT. And I always thought he should probably be more grateful for the letter R. But anyway, is your character wearable? No, she is not. Is your character from Skullgirls? No. Does your character have powers? You mean like magical, like superhero powers? No. Is your character in Wasabi Productions? No. Is your character a grill? Is, is she a grill? Show Bob's and Vagine? Um, I mean, yes, I think so. Has your character ever been in a movie? Uh, pretty sure not. No, she was just in the one game. I don't think I don't think they reused her for anything else after that. Is your character a Victoria's Secret model? I think you're I think you're still way off, Akinator. You're really like still way going in the in the wrong direction with this. 
Does your character live with their father? Probably. She probably lives with her family and has a relatively normal suburban existence, but I don't know. Don't know. Does your, does your character fall into holes a lot? Oh boy, no. Does your character have yellow skin? That's racist! Oh wait, this is probably The Simpsons. He's probably thinking of The Simpsons. Um, no, it's not a Simpsons character. Does your character love cupcakes? Probably, but I, I don't know. Does your character have pink hair? No. Is your character Caucasian? Yes. Did your character die? Um, I think she can die. I mean, yeah, characters can die in this game, but I'll, I'll say no because I'm pretty sure her death is not canon. Is your character short-haired? Yeah, her hair is kind of... Shh. Let me look her up. Uh, so the person I'm thinking of is Wendy from um, Maniac Mansion. Yeah, oh, this is her in the remake. This is her in, in like the updated version with, with somewhat better graphics, but um, where's the original? Where's the original Wendy? And, I mean, I guess it doesn't matter. She looks similar in, in any case, but is there really no... Pic Wait, what is this? No, this is still the... Is this still like the redone? Where's... Where's the original Wendy? Is it really so hard just to get pictures? Is it really this difficult just to get pictures of, of, of games? Is it really this hard to find basic things on the internet? Is, this is the other woman. So this, this lady here with the red hair, that's, um, I think her name is Razor, if I remember right. She's the other playable female character from Maniac Mansion. Um, I could have picked her, but Wendy was always more of my style because Wendy was a writer. Writers are sexy. Writers are intelligent. That's that's cool. That's 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 sexy and attractive. Here we go. Here's a, a picture. Oh, but this is still from the remake. Okay, whatever. But anyway, that's Wendy in the middle there. She yeah, she has short dark hair and uh, she doesn't wear glasses. So I was right. She doesn't wear glasses. The only one who wears glasses is Bernard, and well, this this guy. What was this guy's name? Sid. I want to say his name was Sid, but I don't remember now. I never played with this guy. I usually played with Bernard, and then one of. These other people, but not this guy, because he looks like a douchebag. Um, is your character short-haired? I would say, yeah, kind of. I'll say yes. I mean, it's really a matter of of um, what you consider short hair. I mean, some people would say this is fairly long hair, but for a woman, that's probably sexist. Now, if I say she has short hair for a woman, that probably sounds sexist. But can I not get like a proper pic? Here we go. This is well. This is still like some updated version, but I mean. I feel like this is kind of short hair for a woman, but some people would probably say that's sexist and women can have whatever hair length they want. Yeah, of course they can have whatever hair length they want, but I mean, women typically have slightly longer hair. I don't know. I'll say yes. Is your character red-haired? No, uh, the other the other woman from the game is, but this uh, the one I'm thinking of is not. Is your character older? Again, with the age. Dude, you keep asking about the age. I don't know. Probably not. Is your character a citizen of the United States? I, I don't know. We never see her passport in the game, probably. Is your character made out of Legos? Don't think so, no. Uh, Campus Life Girl from College Game. Is that an actual game? Hold on. Let me go to... I, I want to see. Is this a real thing? College Game. Is that actually a game? Um... I'm not seeing anything that looks like... I really don't know. I really don't know if that's an actual thing or if somebody just typed in college game because they have no idea what they're talking about and just put in college game because they didn't know the name. I really have no idea. This this is just... Uh, no, you're, you're way off. Actually, I guess you're not way off. I mean, Wendy is a, a student, but... Okay, anyway. Name. Wendy. Wendy was her name, right? Hold on. Just to make sure that I'm not completely crazy. Well, I mean, she has to be because... Hold on. Let me go to everything and... Yeah. Using Wendy the journalist and writer. Yeah, she's a journalist and writer. She's... Yeah, so it's, her name was Wendy. Who are you thinking about? Wendy Doninger? Don't know who that is, but that's obviously not her. Wendy Garrett? No, she doesn't have a, she doesn't have a last name in the game, I don't think... Wendy from the Blouse Barn in Schitt's Creek. <laughs> Works at Blouse Barn, is old and hires David. Uh, I, 
I am blown away by the fact that Akinator knows who this is, but he doesn't know Wendy from Maniac Mansion. Wendy Wolfie, Wendy's Eating Show, YouTuber. Man, this is this is really this is abysmal. No, my character's not in the list. No, I'm thinking of Wendy, 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 and I can just copy and paste the description here. The journalist and writer from. Maniac Mansion, and let's put a capital T at the beginning to be proper. Wendy the Journalist and Writer from Maniac Mansion. Bravo, you have defeated me. Wow, this was really disappointing. I have to say, this was really, um, this was really um, just astonishingly bad. Um, in my testing before I made this video, I did try, uh, what, uh, I just want to quickly say, I tried getting Akinator to guess Baliog from The Lost Vikings, and he actually, it, it was the same kind of thing. He asked a lot of questions twice. I think he twice asked me, does your character fight with uh, with a sword or with a bow and arrow or something like that? To which I said yes, because Baliog is the Viking from The Lost Vikings that actually fights with weapons. He has a sword and he has a bow and arrow. And then and Akinator also asked me, does your character fight with a shield? And I said no, because it's the other guy who fights with a shield. And then at the end, somehow he still gets the other guy. I think it was Olaf, wasn't it? Which, which one's which? I think... Hold on. Uh... Lost Vikings. Which one is which? Um, is Wikipedia good? Oh, I get everything. I get everything in German. This really annoys me. It really annoys the heck out of me when when websites try to give you your language based on your IP address. I mean, yeah, I know I have an, a German IP address, but come on, man. Can can I not? Well, okay, hold on. There's a. I can just click on English here. In this case, I'm gonna click on English. Um. Right. Yeah, so Eric the Swift is the red-haired guy who um, who runs fast. Yeah, and I was trying to guess Baliog, the fighter. So, like I said, I explicitly said on more than one occasion, yeah, the guy fights with a sword and with a bow and arrow, and I explicitly said at least once, no, he does not fight with a shield. And then, at the end, Akinator, being the brilliant Akinator that he is, he actually guessed Olaf. He was actually smart enough to get to the Lost Vikings, which in itself is a pretty good, um, you know, apparently a pretty good achievement for Akinator since he doesn't know, um, as, as the Yids would say, he doesn't know his punim from his pupik. But he actually got to the Lost Vikings, and then at the end he says, Oh, are you thinking of Olaf from the Lost Vikings? No, idiot. Olaf is the guy with the shield. I explicitly said my character does not have a shield. He fights with a sword. And he just he, he just didn't get it. He was like, whoa, are you, are you thinking of this this character from a movie maybe? Because I know you said he... I, he only said he's from a video game twice. I bet you th you, you think of, of, a, of a movie even though you said twice it's a video game because uh, I'm smart like that. <laughs> so... So at least he got to the Lost Vikings. I was impressed with that. I was impressed that he got as far as the Lost Vikings. But... Um, and, and then to get that far and then guess the wrong guy based on questions that very clearly and explicitly negate that answer, make that answer impossible. I thought that was kind of ridiculous, but there you go. This has been Akinator, everyone. The Akinator is really, um, he, he's really like a, a, just just an abject failure. I mean, I don't... I don't know what people are doing with Akinator. They must really be guessing a lot of very popular characters. I mean, yeah, if, if all you're guessing is PewDiePie or John um, what, uh, John Stark or something like that, I mean, then I guess... Uh, not John Stark. Um, uh, John Snow, uh, or what's the other one? Enya Stark. And uh, if, if, if all you're do doing is guessing like John Snow and Enya Stark, then yeah, sure, okay. I, I mean, I'm sure he can guess that. He, he'll probably guess that in like five questions. But man, the Akinator doesn't even know how to, how to do like basic internet things and look up things on... I mean, he should at least be able to uh, look up things on the internet. That would be like a real artificial intelligence that actually goes and Googles things and looks stuff up on Wikipedia and Google and things like things like that and, and tries to match based on the criteria that you've given but anyway so yeah there you go Akinator he's he's dusting his hands and uh, he's saying I, I want no more of this 
I'm just curious. I, I want to try just one more thing. Um, I really should end the video here because it's, man, if we've been going on for one and a quarter hours, this is crazy. I, did, I really didn't mean for this to go on this long, but let's just very quickly, let me just try one last thing because I want to see if, can I please close that? Get that out. Thank you. Uh, I want to guess a group character. I thought of a group character. So let's, uh, let's see if we can get this. Is your character a girl? No. Is your character use guns? Yes. Do you control your character? No. Is your character real? You mean like in real life? No. Is your character from a video game? Yes. Is your character made out of metal? No. Made out of, made of food? No. Minor? No. Black? You mean like, I assume you mean African? No. Is your character of dark hair? Um, yeah, they, yeah, probably, I guess. Is your character bad? Yes, bad guys. Is your character from the Far Cry games? No. Does your character own a company? No. Policeman or detective? No. Norigami, don't know what that is, but no. Is your character interested in fashion? Uh, prob probably not. Did your character have only one child? No. Has your character ever been in a movie? Don't think so. Does your character live in a house alone? Um, uh, I really have no idea. Uh, um, probably not. Does your character wear a mask? Oh, ki kind of? Sort of? Y yeah, kind of, sometimes? Um... Hmm, I'll say yes. I mean, sort of. Is it from DC Comics? No. Gary's Mod? No. Or, oh, oh. Yeah, yes, yeah, yes. Slenderman? No, not that horror game. Skull Mask? No, not that kind of mask. Josh Washington from, un from Until Dawn? Uh, no. Is that one of these... No, it must be something completely different. I'm just thinking, there. you know those, that trilogy of romantic movies? So like there's one that's Until Sunset and then one till, that's Until Sunrise. Was one of them called Until Dawn? I don't think so. There's, there's Until Sunrise, Until Sunset, and then Until, what's the other one? There's a third one. I forget. I forget. I don't know. But no, it's definitely not that. Let's see if, if we, can we go on? Let's see if we can get at least close. Does the character have a sister? Um, don't know. Probably not. Uh, you're from, from a fna Five Nights at Freddy's? That must be Five Nights at Freddy's. No. You're known for wearing a raincoat. Ooh. Um, they do... They are known for their coats, but are they are they raincoat? Um, I'll say no. They're not really... Does you get to wear a hood? Yes, definitely. That's something they are known for. Do you to wear a black mask? Uh, I think so, yeah. Does he... Ah, does you get to wear a hoodie? Yes. Color blue. See, I... With that whole hoodie thing, I thought we were getting close, and then suddenly, color blue. What? No, I don't think so. Terminator franchise, no. Does your character have a big smile? Oh, you're thinking one of those horror characters with, the, with those freakishly huge smiles. No, it's not something like that. Ooh. Uh, well, no. I don't know what this is or where it's from. I mean, this is kind of... I mean, at least you got the hoodie right, so I guess that's something, but no. A burger mask. What, what is a burger mask? I have no idea. Horror genre. I mean, I, I said it's a horror game, didn't I? I mean, the character himself is not associated with anything horrific, but it is, I mean, yeah, it's kind of a horror game. Does your character have fat lips? Trying to, trying to imagine what that might be. Uh, no. Has your character made a discovery in the laws of physics? No. Do you get to wear black and red? Um, no. You mean like Harley Quinn? No. Can boys wear for an anime cartoon? What? No. Does your character come from a pre creepy pasta? <laughs> um, okay, no. Remember of Ace. What is that? I don't know. No. Do you get to wear feathers in their hair? No. Do you get to wear bandages? Um, they can. I mean, you can use bandages in the game, but these characters are not known for wearing bandages. Does he get two horns? No, it doesn't even... Is he a first-person shooter? Yes. Is he from Overwatch? No. Does he to live underground? Um, where do they... I mean, some of them live underground, maybe, but I think... No, I think most of them don't. Is he often positive? No, certainly not. Does he get have a nickname linked with animals? No. You can travel through time. Don't think so. Pittsburgh. Uh, wrong side of the world there. Ooh. Is your character Russian? 
Uh, that's a matter of opinion, isn't it? That kind of depends on your... that. Okay, we're treading into very opinionated territory here. Um, I'll say probably not to kind of give the indication that you're you're on the right track, but you're not quite in the right. Is your character linked with the C? No. Oh boy, was your character part of the Beatles? See, I always whenever I get the feeling that Akinator's getting close, then suddenly he just goes way off into left field and just completely goes off course. Is your character scary? Uh, I mean, kind of, but I mean, he's well, he's he's not. Mm. Has your character ever been to hell? No, he's probably going there though. Does your character live in America? No. Again, this is a group a group character. Ooh, does your character have a guitar? Um, they don't have guitars in the game, do they? A lot of people play suddenly just start randomly playing guitar in the game, but these guys don't. <gasps> he got it. You got it. He figured it out. The bandits from Stalkir. He actually got it. You are right. Bravo, Akinator. Character really played 629 times. Awesome. Well done, Akinator. At least he figured out that much. I was sure, going towards the end there with all those crazy left field questions that he was throwing out there, I was sure that he was going to come up with, with another crazy pants answer that had no, not even the remotest relation to what I was thinking of. But then all of a sudden, just when I think all hope was lost and I think Akinator's just completely off his rocker, he just suddenly comes up with the right answer, just like that. Bam! Bandit stalker. Well, he got it. It only took him how many questions? Does he say? He doesn't say how many questions it took him. But that was like 60 questions, I think, so... Oh, last played 16 hours ago. So 16 hours ago, somebody else had the same idea. Well, at least this wasn't a total failure. At least he figured out something. Even though that character in the, in the picture didn't look like a bandit. He looked like... He wasn't wearing bandit armor. He was wearing some kind of other... Looked more like a, like a monolith or something, but anyway. But, oh well, I'm satisfied. At least Akinator gets something, so... Good for you, Akinator. You're not completely worth... Well, you are still completely worthless, but at least you you did something right for once. So good for you. Good job. So I think we're done here. I think this video has gone on for like literally three times as long as I intended for it to go on for. So if you've actually watched this far, thanks for watching everyone. I hope this was kind of fun. Um, this is Late Blight and Akinator signing off and saying, I know, Chiki Briggy. And uh, yeah, we will... We will see you later. I will talk to you folks later. Until then, my friends.